today we will be looking at a 15 minute trading strategy. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be looking at a 15-minute trading strategy. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. To date, we have tested a total of 67 different strategies with 17 of them being profitable. The best one so far was able to achieve an 80% win rate. That is the five minute crypto trading strategy that I did a video on a little while back. Um, that's the same strategy um, that we'll be looking at today with a few minor tweaks. I'll put a thumbnail up of that uh, crypto trading strategy right now and a link up in the corner. Also, I will also link to it at the end of this video. We've also tested a total of 879 indicators with 370 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We've also retested in the advanced testing 66 of the winning indicators. 26 of them have been able to maintain the winning status. The best two, a 76% win rate. Uh, keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. All right, so today we are looking at a 15 minute trading strategy. So this is basically the same strategy um, that we had set up in the five minute uh, crypto scalping strategy. As far as the indicators and stuff like that go, uh, we'll just have a few uh, small tweaks to the way uh, we actually trade it. So the uh, three indicators, we're actually not going to use the ATR. We can X that one off screen there at the bottom. Uh, the three indicators are the, again, the same indicators we used in that uh, scalping strategy. So we have uh, uh, the uh, percent B uh, indicator here. We have the RSI. We have the inverse Trish, uh, Fisher transform of the RSI here on the bottom. All three of these are custom indicators um, that we have uh, coded and we offer to our patrons. Uh, if you are interested in uh, getting these indicators, uh, just join our $9 Patreon. You can find a link to it down below and you will get access to that and a full guide of um, how to use the indicators, how to add them to the charts, any tweaks and optimizations um, that I find and the different pairs and so on. And so. All right, back to the strategy here. So uh, on the five minute, it didn't seem to work very well with a Forex. So we did it originally on a crypto. Um, I figured uh, people are more into Forex. And so uh, developing a strategy for Forex is gonna work a little bit better than uh, doing crypto. So this was on the USD versus the Japanese yen. Now this is the only pair so far that I've optimized it for. We'll see about other pairs as we go. Um, and I do more optimization and testing. So 
again on the 15 minute time frame instead of the five minute so that way we have just a little bit more stability to it uh, the setup on this again is basically the same setup we did before so the first thing we're looking for uh, is going to be uh, the uh, uh, percent B so we get these red dots here or green dots so if we have red dots we're looking for a short the immediate last dot so for example uh, let's say that we drop this back to right here so we have these green dots forming right here and we're looking for a long trade we also had them um, right here we'd have probably actually dropped into a trade right here on this one so we can scoot it back just a little bit so we come down here and you see that we get these green dots forming we've got green dots here as well but you see that uh, we didn't get the rsi or the inverse fisher transform to line up as we'll talk about here in a second so coming down we get green dots right here we're looking for a long green dots there we're also looking for a long and so we're just kind of riding this down then we start getting this green background of the RSI and then we get the inverse Fisher transform right here also painting the green background. Um, now we want the uh, RSI and the inverse tr Fisher transform to line up within one bar. So for example, you see here the inverse Fisher transform gives the green background. If one bar forward the RSI then gave us the green background that would then be a valid entry if uh like we have a setup here you can see how we actually get that green background on the rsi then we get the uh inverse fisher transform there and so once we have that um, all set up right there that's going to be our signal to then possibly take an entry um, a little bit of optimization on this suggestions is that you don't just take an immediate trade wait for it to actually break slightly above maybe five pips above that entry or that signal candle there and have a limit order sitting right there for it to be triggered just about five pips above once we get a trigger into the uh, trade there what we're going to do is we're going to come down and use the last swing low right here as our take profit and stop setup so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure from the uh, close or the uh, uh, the close of that um, signal candle there we're going to measure down to the lowest wick of this last swing that gives us a uh, 25 pips right there. That is going to be our take profit at 25 pips. So we're basically doing a one-to-one -one of that right there, but we're actually gonna set our stop 10 pips below uh, that wick right there. So 25 would give us 35 on our stop. And so we can measure this out with a long tool right about here. We're gonna go down just about right here and it's not gonna be quite a one-to-one, -one, but it's gonna be uh, pretty darn close to it. And so we're at uh, about 25 pips is gonna be the uh, take profit and about 35 was our stop. And so we're then gonna play this forward here and you can see that we come down, we get really close to our stop right here. We don't quite trigger it. Then we get a spike to the upside right there and so uh, that's the setup we are looking for and then we would do the same in reverse on this uh, so we'll just play this forward a little bit here and we'll take a look at this one right here and so we get the red dots appearing right here we move forward a little bit we get our uh, red background there of the RSI we then get the uh, inverse Fisher transform that lines up with it as well that would be our signal candle we place an order just right below that wick right there and we'd be targeting the same setup so we're gonna go here we're gonna go ahead and measure this out from the close or you can do that wick I did the close close all the way up to this largest wick gives us 30 so our stop is going to be 40 and our take profit is going to be 30 so put a stop here at 40 
our take profit is going to be sitting right about 30. And you can take a partial off here. And if you uh, know enough to let this ride out and keep trailing uh, these um, areas where uh, it just continues to step down, then you can get some really, really good trades. Here's a prime example of that. So you can see I just take part off of the trade right there, move the rest to break even and let this come down there. Uh, then all together right here on that, you'd be sitting about 112 pips. So if we move this all the way down to this area right here, you can see that your risk reward is about uh, 2.5 there. And so really decent risk reward. All right, that's how the strategy works. In this case, this is small tweaks that I made to it uh, to help it work on the Forex market. So before we take a look at what it was able to achieve, uh, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Discord server. So this is our Discord server right here. It is free to join. Most of the channels here are free, but we do have a Patreon only channel set up just for our patrons to take advantage of some great advanced information. Uh, for example, this is Sasquatch here. He is an amazing Forex prop trader. He's posting charts on a regular basis where he's marked out areas of support and resistance, areas of interest. Uh, if I scroll back here, you'd see that we get quite a few charts like this where uh, he really dives in and marks out areas of interest, uh, different uh, kind of wedge patterns or different uh, candle patterns in general. Really, really awesome information that he's putting out for everyone to see. You can really learn a lot from the uh, charts that he's putting out, just kind of following along with his trade. Sometimes we'll also post uh, kind of the trades that he's looking to take. Uh, we also have Mike from Upright Trading. He's one of our admins. Uh, he does a really great job of explaining indicators and helping out with indicators um, and just general trading knowledge um, kind of all around. That's what, kind of what this was right here, uh, responding to a, kind of a new member asking a question. Uh, but Mike from Upright Trading has a lot of really cool indicators that he's developed himself. Um, some, are, some are paid, some are free, but all of them are really super cool. And I believe they all are are free to test out and so uh, he really goes above and beyond to kind of help us out and explain a lot of great stuff it's just a really great environment as well as all that uh, you will also get access to um, some indicators that I've developed myself. Uh, the latest video that I put out was the five minute crypto scalping strategy right here. If you are looking for a strategy to start with, I highly recommend that you jump onto this video. You watch it, check out the strategy. It's a great strategy in there. Um, I outlined the indicators that I use and I've actually created a guide around that particular strategy as you can see right here again go back and watch that video if you are interested uh, but this guide basically uh, contains the links to the private coded indicators that i was talking about big shout out to mike from upright trading for coding those uh, indicators for us. Uh, it also has the optimized settings of the particular indicators. Uh, it has the uh, list of the specific markets and pairs or coins, um, as well as the different time frames that the strategies uh, that the strategy works on, as well as just general optimization tips. And so. Um, as I am testing this strategy on different markets and different pairs, different time frames, and so on, I'll be constantly updating this guide and putting it out for everyone pinned in the uh, Patreon only channel uh, for our patrons to have easy access um, to understanding uh, what the strategy works on, how it uh, how it specifically works in the optimization of everything. So, so a bunch of great benefits to becoming a patron of the channel. I highly recommend that you join us. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some numbers on this uh, here. So uh, the uh, total number of trades that we did here, 50 trades was the test. Uh, basically a, a one to one risk reward. I know it's a little bit off, but it's easier to just say one to one rather than uh, one to, you know, uh, point uh, seven five or whatever it is. Uh, we have five break even trades. We had 29 winning trades. 
we had 16 losing trades. And so if we were basically risking a one to one in this particular case, again, it'd be a little bit less, obviously, by the time you calculate in spread and so on. Uh, but a one to one, so $100, uh, $100 is gonna be our risk. $100 is gonna be our reward. It puts us at $2,900 gain. $1,300 loss with a total gain of $1,300. Knock this down a little bit, say a couple hundred dollars to account for spreads and the little bit of slippage and so on uh, that we were looking at there. You're looking at at least a $1,000 gain and this was about a one month time being very conservative with just $100 um, risk there that we would be taking. With any kind of a significant account, you could easily do three or four times that amount. Uh, and so you can see how uh, three or four times that amount, you're looking at at least uh, three or $4,000 in a month from using this trade with just some really, really conservative uh, leverage and uh, Forex account, just trading this one style here. So that's it for this video. That's the tweaks that I did to this strategy. I had one other um, time frame that I tested this on that uh, worked uh, really well also. And I'm going to just update the uh, guide on that particular time frame. So uh, you'll need that guide if you want to know the additional time frame that it was tested on. Um, this one is a really decent time frame as well. And so it's definitely going to work for you there. That's it for this video. Uh, we'll call it here and move on to the next video from here.